Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script tutorial. Although this is going to be a quick tutorial for the main video of the week, I'm going to be going over the four types of display messages inside of Extend Script. Now these are messages you can use to display information to the user, uh, get information while you're testing your scripts or debugging, and uh, also use it as a pass to get past a certain point. So let's go ahead and run this script and see what it does. The first thing it does is it pops up the first type of a message, which is an alert. This message will basically stop everything your script does until you click on OK. Then it's going to do a write line, which will write to the JavaScript console if you're using extend script. And then it's going to use a confirm, which will confirm something. We can either press yes or no, and that returns a bool. If the bool is true, then we're going to bring up another prompt, which will ask us, hey, what's your name? This is where you put it. So just put it in. Hello. And then that is going to be our script. We can also, of course, grab that last variable and get the text that they input. So if they put in, say, script master and clicked on OK, now we can get the text that they're giving us in that message. So let's go ahead and get started on this quick script by creating a new JavaScript file. And I'll zoom in just a tiny bit so we can see it better. And we're going to start off by creating an alert. Now with all of these alert messages, they're all built into extend script. So when we start typing them in, it's going to give us hints as to what we need to give it for information. So an alert, we need a message, a title, and an error icon, which is actually optional. And then what it does is it displays an alert box. And if you don't know what any of these do and you don't see these messages if you're using something else, you can go to the object model viewer and under core JavaScript classes and global elements, we're going to be going over them in here. We have alert and you can see uh, the title is optional as well as the error icon. And then the error icon is ignored on Mac computers. So we just need to give it first a message to display for the alert. We can just alert itself. We'll say alert message is now showing. The second parameter in the alert is the message displayed in the upper box part. So we can just say title of alert box. And then again, the last one, which is not required, um, it was basically to show an icon of an alert. So if I go ahead and run this script, you can see we have alert message is now showing as the main body text. And the second argument goes up top as the title of the alert box. And that's alerts, which will basically freeze your script until you click on the OK button to proceed. It's an older way of testing scripts before using breakpoints and all of that, but it's a visual way if you need to test things on user systems or if they're trying to run a script and they need to do something first as a prerequisite, an alert and then canceling the script is a great way to use it. The next type of message, which is only inside of extend script, is the global write line function. Again, back in the object model viewer, if we go up to the dollar sign here, we can go down to write line. And what this will do is write whatever you give it inside of the JavaScript console, which you can load by going to window JavaScript console. Again, this is only an extend script, but it's going to do the same thing as an alert message without freezing it. It's going to display information for us, whether it's a variable text or to display how far we've gotten, um, but it's not going to freeze the script, pop up on screen. It's just going to appear in the JavaScript console and keep running the script as far as it will go. So we just put in the text we want inside of the right line function. It only requires a text parameter, as you can see. So we'll just give it, uh, with double quotes, some text. This is a right line. And now when we run this, it's going to display it inside of our JavaScript console. This is a great way to, again, silently get information displayed. And say you had a right line on every line between your code, you could then see where your code is stopping and then proceed from there. And the last two we're going to do are confirms and prompts. The first thing we're going to do is a confirm, which you can see as we type it in. We need to give it a message, a no as default, and a title. It displays an alert box with yes or no options and returns true for yes. So basically it's a yes or no box, and if they give us a yes, then it gives us true. So since we're returning a bool, I'm just going to get a variable called bool, and we're going to set this equal to a confirm. The first thing we need is a message. Would you like to continue? Then if we go into the object model viewer, again, global elements and confirm. No as default is optional and set this true to set the no button as the default button. So we actually need to have it set to false in order to have the yes button by default on. And then lastly, a title for our confirm. 
we'll just say title for the confirm box. And then after this, we're going to alert our bool using a display to display display. And then run the script. It's going to ask us, would you like to continue? Here's the title of the confirm box. If we hit no, we're going to get false. If we run it again and hit yes, we're going to get true. So with that said, we can use logic by saying if our bool. And just by saying if bool, that's saying does it exist? If you wanted to check if it was false, you would just invert it by using an exclamation mark. So you can see if I alert uh, false, it's not going to display that. But if I hit no, which will give you a false answer, it's then going to go in and use that alert. So if the bool is true, if they clicked yes to continue, we're going to go over the last one, which is a prompt. In order to make a prompt, we need our prompt text, the default, and the title. So I'm going to go ahead and create a variable called text because it's going to return some text. It's basically a text input. And the prompt is going to be enter your favorite food. Then to reference the rest of the arguments, I'm going to go back in here and check prompt. We need the default, which is the default text for the preset. Uh, we can have the default food be apples. And then the last one is the title. Um, and this will just be the prompt title. And then after all of this, we're going to alert our text. So would we like to continue? Yes, I want to be prompted. And our favorite food, uh, here's the prompt title, the prompt text, and our apples default. I'm going to go ahead and change it to grapes and hit OK. Now it's when we alert the text, it's going to give us grapes, which is our user's input. And if I do it one more time and hit cancel, it's going to give you null, which you can use to get different results. But that's going to do it for this week's main tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Those are all the display messages you can use using Extend Script. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Hit subscribe to be notified of when new videos come out weekly. And of course, follow us on GitHub and Instagram down below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.